Hi, my name is Andrew Dent. I'm Head of Research at Material Connection. We are a global materials consultancy and have the world's largest library of innovative materials. And we also look for the most innovative technologies. And one technology I'm, I'm most interested in at the moment is something called 3D printing. I think these exhibits here are a great example of the variations possible within this type of 3D printing. So let's check out some of the things in the exhibit. This is called a Thingomatic from MakerBot Industries. They have a number of different versions, but this one's actually uh, called a Thingomatic. This is a great example of how this type of manufacturing is actually now uh, within the realm of the average consumer. Uh, these products retail between $1,100 and, and $2,000 and offer us the ability to start creating products ourselves in something that we can put onto a desktop. Let's start this machine. You can see how this is creating a three-dimensional object using two-dimensional printing. It has a, uh, a platen at the bottom which is moving and then uh, plastic is actually being uh, squirted out onto the surface to then um, create the successive layers, eventually ending up with a product that looks like this, a finished bracelet. So this can be done in a number of hours, can be done on your desktop, can be controlled by a very uh, simple computer program. Obviously this needs to be created from a raw material and that raw material is here. This is a spool of nylon. The nylon is fed onto the actual the thingomatic and then that's uh, heated up till it melts and then once it's molten it's then deposited in the specific places on the bracelet to create that three-dimensional object. I think the exciting thing about uh, the MakerBot is the potential for people like myself or the average consumer to actually use it to make things. Uh, I think the idea is there is no limit to what you can make. One can create virtually anything on a small scale um, out of this plastic. You can play around with it and get creative. It's possible to, to make a mug or your own jewellery. I think the, the great thing about it is there's no real limitation as to what you can manufacture. It's really up to your own imagination.